Obviously, organic's brilliant. You know, we're not putting pesticides or herbicides on the soil. We're minimising the amount that we trim the hedges, um, all this sort of stuff, and it, it, which is really good for the soil and, and really good for biodiversity and the environment. It's things that we're not doing that are, that are doing good. What we've been looking at recently is trying to be more active in improving biodiversity and things like that around the farm. We're really thinking about, is there more that we can actively do to improve that sort of thing? Particularly with climate crisis, that's that sort of brought things into focus more recently, but it's something that we've been thinking about for quite some time anyway. We're planting a mixed woodland here, primarily with biodiversity in mind. So obviously this is going to be really good from a carbon capture point of view. The long-term aim is for it to be primarily oak, so we've got 16, 18 species of tree and shrub here, um, and about 30% of them are oak trees. Broadly speaking, quicker growing trees are hungrier, so they need more carbon dioxide, so they'll, they'll capture that carbon dioxide more quickly. If all we wanted to do was take as much carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere as we could, we'd plant, I don't know, we'd plant balsa or cork, and we'd plant it much closer together. And that would be great for capturing carbon, but it's not going to be much good for biodiversity. A woodland tends to have, you know, variations in canopy height, for example. So, and you've got different birds and insects that, that appreciate those changes in canopy. So we've got everything from spindle, hazel and blackthorn to hornbeam, uh, sweet chestnut, wild cherry. So a real mix of things that are good um, for flowering at different times of year, some that produce fruits for mammals to eat, some that produce pollen for, for insects to have a go at. At the bottom of our reservoirs, we've got some woodland by the stream there. Um, above us, we've got a hill and then a wood on top of that. So by planting wood here, we can hopefully sort of link those and, and create some sort of wildlife corridor. We're trying to replicate a natural woodland. So, you know, ideally, you'll come here in 50 years time and it'll look like part of the natural landscape. It won't look like something that's being planted. We do hope to plant more. This is a really good local patch, but we do have bits and bobs of land here and there. We've got corners of fields, um, little bits that are very steep, that are no good for growing vegetables on. So we are hoping ongoing to, to plant more and more of this up. It's going to become part of our target towards net zero emissions. <laughs>